Question 26. In the diagram as shown, the resistor loads have the same power rating. They are attached in the circuit as shown. The respective number of windings in the ratio N1 to N2 to N3 is thus which of the following options. From the question, we know that the powers on arbitrary resistors are all the same. This relation will help us to work out the relations of their currents and voltages respectively. Recall power is the product of voltage and current, but we can express it as I square R because V equals to I R. We can also express it as V square over R because I equals to V over R. Let us use the I square R expression first to work out how their currents relate to each other. We can see that the ratio of I1 to I2 to I3 is 1 to 2 to 3. If we want to express everything in term of I1, then we have I3 equals to I1 and I2 equals to 2 I1. Similarly, we can deal with the voltage by making use the V square over R expression. The result is that V1 to V2 to V3 is equal to 1 to 1 to 2. With this, we can know that V3 is 2 V2, and since both circuit 2 and 3 are secondary, by knowing that number of windings is proportional to voltage, we can deduce N3 equals to 2 N2. To include N1, we need to make use of the conservation of energy. This will require the power of circuit 1 equals to the sum of powers of circuit 2 and 3. Replace V with N, we have N1 I1 equals to N2 I2 plus N3 I3. Next, we can substitute in our previous results in those rectangular borders. This will allow us to express the right hand side in term of N2 and I1, and lead us to the end result of N1 equals to 4 N2. Hence, Combine with N3 equals to 2 N2, the ratio N1 to N2 to N3 is 4 to 1 to 2. The answer is then E.